Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Munich. Today I decided to take a walk towards uh, the train to uh, work, to the airport. Let's get on this walk and I will tell you something about and why on the way. So, let's get it on. Here, right next to the Berg am Leim Unterführung in the eastern part of Munich, about five minutes away from where I live. This is uh, Berg am Leim bus and tram station. Right now there's no tram sitting, but one pulled out just a minute ago. So I just missed it. Trams are going here every 10 minutes towards the inner city, stopping at the Marienplatz and terminating then in passing on the very west. And the building here, the high rise, the high rise of the eastern side of Munich. This is the headquarter of the Süddeutsche Zeitung, of the biggest newspaper of Munich. And as I'm talking about, one tram is coming. Line 19 having its terminal station here. It's not too packed, that's all fine. And this tram is turning around here and will then sit and wait here at the station for about eight minutes and then take its way to the inner city. And in the background, all the red stuff you can see, this is the depot and uh, maintenance facility of the Munich S-Bahn here in Steinhausen. There are two of them, the other one is next to Pasing, but the biggest one is right here. The tram train pulling in here at the station. It will sit here for uh, seven minutes today and then go to the city. We will now continue go northbound along this nice street here and then terminate at Johanneskirchen S-Bahn station. And yeah, it's pretty warm today. Day of recording, April 5th. So almost up to date with the videos. <laughs> this is the first day of summer in spring 2024. The trees starting uh, to explode with the green. It's 20 degrees Celsius, so that's about, uh, let me guess, 70s, mid 70s Fahrenheit, not 100% sure about that. But this will be a warm day, tops at 23 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm for April. Yeah, it's way too warm, but the whole month of March, the whole month of February was way too warm for the season. And here, walking by the Süddeutsche Zeitung. This is a pretty interesting, pretty futuristic looking building. As mentioned, Company Central for a newspaper here in Munich. And they, they have the, their printing done here as well. That's over there in these halls. Not the most beautiful, but it's working. <laughs> and I will continue now through the next underpass, which crosses below the A94, the Autobahn, which comes in from the east. It terminates, yeah, there are several pieces of the Autobahn. It's not completely finished. Once it is completely finished, it will go all the way to Passau, which is at the German-Austrian border, far in the east. But right now, as mentioned, this Autobahn is not finished yet. It has several pieces that are in uh, place, but especially in the eastern part, there are some pieces that are not in place. But here in the city, it is finished and working. And uh, this Autobahn terminates at the Mittlerer Ring, a little bit about two kilometers to the east, sorry, to the west from here. It will dip underground and meet the Mittlerer Ring and then it is finished. The green is coming out. I really love that. Very beautiful time of the year. Of course, if you've seen some of my videos, I prefer the fall when the leaves are coming down and we have all the colors. But this green, that's not bad either. Okay, some uninteresting part coming up here of the walk, so I will stop and come back to you later. All right, a few meters down the road, or up the road, I would say, because I'm walking northbound. Here now in the friedrich eckerstraße which is a mixed quarter. We have some 
uh, church stuff here to the left, including this tower, which is renovated, but it looks not bad. We do have trees becoming white, and this is not snow. This is beautiful. The rest of the street is mainly residential buildings, small residential buildings. These one unit, maybe two unit houses here, and this nice dog. Hello, how are you doing? This is a typical quiet residential area, with the exception of the street running through here, which is relatively busy. But this looks pretty cool, especially the church tower over there, which is, I think it is a Protestant church, but I'm not 100% on that. Some new or renovated buildings and the usual old stuff here in the old quiet part of Munich. Come back to you soon. All right, a little further down the road, now in the Ostpreußenstraße towards the north. This is a relatively nice area. We have some small shops, a hairdresser here, drink market, fruit market, Italian ice cafe, optometrician, we have a butcher and a pub restaurant here to the right. This is absolutely a nice area. People live here, people work here, people shop here. That's a typical Munich area. And of course the guys here to the right sitting outside enjoying their uh, how is it called? Aperol Spritz. So the Aperol with uh, a little bit of Prosecco. That's enjoyable for anyone who likes it. I don't. But Mrs. Psychopunk loves it. <laughs> yeah, this area will stay the same for the next about 500 meters. It's definitely nice. I really like it. And let me come back to you a little further down the road when we meet some higher houses. See you soon. Okay, next part. Here, corner Freischutzstraße, Engelschalkinger Straße. The, the quarter changes quite a lot. From one unit houses with small shops to these big suckers here. They are definitely not the prettiest and not the newest. But yeah, what can we do? This is how it looks up here. We do have a filling station, Aral here to the right. Prices are, oh, okay, relatively high, but this is the way the oil goes. <laughs> the smaller houses over there in blue and in uh, this light green color, they look quite okay. We do have a pharmacy store, Rossmann, in there. A clothes store, family, and finally another pharmacy. But in Germany, pharmacy store like the Rossmann or DM, there's uh, more like a supermarket. But the real pharmacy, the guy with the A, there you can get the real stuff, prescriptions, so on. Not in a pharmacy shop, but in a pharmacy. Always to be recognized by the A. See it on the right side. If you have a prescription, that's where you have to go. Let's see how the rest of the walk will be. I spent a little too much time walking around and collecting some more streets. So I do not have that much time left. Just to show you here, Döner Kebab here on the right. Another Döner Kebab on the right again. The quarter back there. Yeah, with these high rises all the way around. Four, six, ten floor houses from the style of the 1960s, 70s, some maybe from the 80s. Not too fresh. And I have 1.2 kilometers left to Johanneskirchen. And I think, yeah, now I really have to hurry a little bit. For the rest of the walk, it will stay like this. Taller houses on both sides. The alley here, the street, with a 
trees on both sides this looks quite cool and in summer this will be a nice walk, nice walk full of shade but today it's not today it's just pretty hot it's really hot and I started to wonder why didn't I take another t-shirt with me that at least I can get some fresh clothes when I arrive at work which will be no, come on which will be relatively soon so I have to stop this video here I hope you enjoyed this walk through the eastern parts of Munich my way to work if I decide to thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit like and subscribe and see you soon back in Munich until then have a good time goodbye <laughs>